Have you ever found a knobbed or channeled whelk shell? Most times they're empty, but a few times I have found them occupied by a whelk. Keep watching to find out who else lives in these shells. They're often confused with conchs, since they look similar. But conchs are native to warm tropical waters and are herbivores. Whelks live in more temperate waters and are carnivores, feeding on clams, oysters, mussels, and other bivalves. They are gastropods and have a slimy muscular foot on the bottom of their body that is used for locomotion. A hard plate or lid called the operculum and located on a whelk's foot acts like a trap door to shut the opening so the snail can retreat inside its shell for safety. Predators will often have difficulty smashing through the strong shell and the perculum of an adult whelk. This is how an operculum looks when it's detached from the whelk. They grow larger as the whelk grows. An adult pregnant whelk will lay a string of egg cases that it will deposit in the water twice a year. Each fertilized egg capsule is strung together with many other capsules, sometimes a foot or more in length and containing over 50 capsules. Each tiny snail that emerges from an egg case is born with a shell. These tiny whelks were inside one of the egg capsules. I've put a penny next to them so you can see how tiny they are. The empty shells play an important role in the aquatic ecosystem. Hermit crabs use the shells as a protective covering, and some smaller juvenile fish use the shells to hide from predators. I hope you learned something new about whelks. Thanks for watching.